Hey guys, it's Ricardo and welcome to another blog tech tips. Today we are reviewing the beautiful Samsung Galaxy S8, which is the latest flagship from Samsung. And as you can see here, this is the device itself, with its beautiful 5.8 Super AMOLED screen. And as you can see as well, guys, this has the best and latest features that can be found on any brand new smartphone. We're talking about a um, pixel density of 570 ppi a resolution of 1440 by 2960 all right and as you can see here it's made out of metal and glass which is basically bringing up the quality from what has been known from some some over the years the screen is a bit elongated and has moved from the standard height that is present in most Samsung devices. Overall, the screen is the talk of the town as it's a very super quality high definition screen that makes everything pops. Um, blacks are shown as inky black and the colors basically pop out right at you. Now the TouchWiz interface has been smooth and streamlined as Samsung basically redid the entire interface with a very smooth and basically refined version so no more stutter or lags also there are a number of features such as the onboard um, touch buttons instead of the physical buttons and you can also hide and show these with the latest updates for a very immersive experience within apps as you can see right there overall this is a super well thought out device Samsung basically has thought of everything that you could ever think of they have basically worked on all the flaws from previous versions personally I'm coming from the Samsung Galaxy S6 and I'm totally blown away by the improvements now as you can see this was taken footage from a beach and as you can see this is the gallery pictures pop right out at you colors are very intense and vivid and basically everything will look way better when taken through the lens of the samsung galaxy s8 and of course these pictures do not do it any justice you'll have to actually see it in person but overall i am very impressed with the colors the camera i was at first doubtful that a 12 megapixel shoots at the back would have been able to produce superb quality pictures but i changed my mind as soon as i saw this device in person as pictures are captured with great detail pictures look crisp and you can actually see the very pixels and even the small details such as um, dust and dirt on items or your subjects Overall, I'm also impressed with the video recording ability. As you can see, you get very smooth and fluid video recording and video playback. The octa-core CPU does a marvelous job. And also the sensor, which has a f-stop of 1.7, allows much light into the um, camera, allowing it to actually capture uh, pictures especially in less than ideal lighting conditions if you're using this on the outside the camera also works quite well um, it's the screen itself can produce very very bright um, can produce a very very bright picture quality meaning you should have no problem in direct sunlight also the camera has been improved with a number of Features. The autofocus is super fast and also the camera interface such as the ability to zoom, record and snap a picture has been improved. Taking things outside a little bit, you'll be impressed with the performance in direct light. You should have no issues in seeing your display so you can use it in direct sunlight. Also the always on display is a nice addition. Although some people may decide not to use this feature, it's still a nice feature to have in cases where you are checking the time on your device a lot. 
photography is also very good as you can see here it was a beautiful day uh, the samsung galaxy s8 outside and i had captured quite a few pictures and of course it turned out quite nice i'm about to show you some of these um, pictures that i actually got and as you can see nice blend of light and colors and as you can see it goes into detail and you can see indoor shots compared with low light and outdoors you can pause at any time to see those uh, pictures apps and games uh, feel right at home on this device i love the way the octa core processor basically breezes through apps multitasking is fun and of course gone are the days of touch with lag where you used to be fighting your device as it would stutter over even the most basic tasks there's still slight issues but of course this is nothing that would break the experience on your device so if you have one of those persons that has always looked out for things like stutters or change your um, feet right out of the box you may want to give the basic touch with a try as Samsung has looked and listened to the um, various complaints and has improved the overall feel of the new user interface the dialer and so on has been updated um, the whole interface runs super smooth so you should have no issues where it goes to built-in apps and their ability to handle being um, used as intended if you're big into social media you love this device as the screen basically gives a very immersive experience especially for apps such as instagram as you can see here i'm in my instagram account and it's beautiful on this device which would make using this device all the more worth it when you actually get it you can actually follow me at r-i-c-k-y-t-l-c on instagram if you're interested as well and as you can see it's a very immersive experience colors and basically everything about it pops on instagram and other social media you can also see the comparison of the edge as on older devices such as the samsung galaxy s6 edge plus the edge is actually quite curved and on the S8 there's less of a curvature so less problems such as palm rejection and other issues users have complained about in those older devices with the extremely curved edges and actually you will not miss the extra curvature as the device still looks beautiful it's curved just enough to give content that nice unique look that once you're used to a curved display kind of makes it weird to go back to any other display other than a curved display all right so as you can see for yourself another cool thing about the s8 is the brightness of the display which i have been um, saying from earlier you know in this review and basically the brighter display how shines in terms of um, detail the older S8 and if you put both in direct light as I'm about to show you the um, S6 Edge Plus and other older devices is barely visible but once you actually check out the Samsung Galaxy S8 in direct light you will actually realize that you can actually still see quite clearly you can actually make out the background picture and on the S6 um, Edge Plus you can actually you can't even see the background this just shows you the quality and the improvement in the resolution and brightness of the display overall the s8 is much more pleasing to look at and of course here i'm on the beach and of course as you can um, see here guys i'm using the s8 it was an entire day of bringing this device around and actually testing the performance and i can tell you right away guys that the performance is quite great especially for cars it does quite well it doesn't drop signals although this is dependent on your carrier or your network but overall um, it does do a marvelous job the 
RAM or the 4 gigs of uh, memory that's in this device does it quite justice and of course I had fun all day at the beach basically taking pictures and just playing around with the device there were some slight issues though for example um, that is actually quite common for devices that's new I call them teething issues seeing that when you are early adopter you will encounter small issues but nothing that could not have been uh, worked through um, I'll do a future video on one such major problem involving um, a key feature in this device but otherwise the sensors work quite well and one of the big complaints is, is the midnight block I advise you to get a case and put it in right outside of the box along with the screen protector as you can see here I have a case and all the components looking great this is the ultimate case also you will want to also instead of use the fingerprint sensor actually use the iris scanner it's way faster and more convenient so those who are complaining about the placement of the fingerprint scanner the caveat for that one is the great iris scanner which more than makes up for that um, lacking um, area also the front facing camera is so good that it's almost as good as any other cameras um, back facing um, <laughs> back, back facing um, cam in fact you need you won't need people as much to take stuff like pictures as the camera can actually do do a great job of capturing details so if you're out and about and you don't have anybody to actually capture a picture of yourself you can actually use the front facing camera to snap pictures and it does a very good job pictures are quite sharp and quite beautiful and likewise with the main camera which is 12 megapixel the 1.7 um, aperture which allows in a great amount of light which makes the pictures look quite detailed and sharp you can actually have HDR which you can turn on and off and there's a number of other features in the camera that you can tweak you can go use um, modes such as pro mode and shoot in raw format or you can just basically use the general setting and still um, capture beautiful pictures one thing I've noticed though is that you do not have to snap several pictures usually the camera will take a perfect picture 99% of the time with just one um, press of the shutter button which is a great improvement the autofocus is lightning fast and it's always dead on and it can refocus super fast also the Android 7.0 angling of notification is quite great from the way messages come in with a beautiful interface new sounds as well as the way you are notified when you get a whatsapp messages everything is on point samsung took care of every bell and whistle and went into great um, detail to make sure that every aspect of this new phone um, basically does appeal to the user so this is basically a summation of um, over seven um, generations of trying and refining this technology as you can see the front facing camera there shots look like they were taken with a high-end DSLR the colors just pop they're vibrant and I mean that display that's the first thing you need to check out so if you um, have a friend and they have this device I advise you go ahead and check it out um, if you have a store nearby where you can go and preview this device I advise that you actually go in and do that um, next gaming as you can see I'm playing need for speed no limits here and of course the octa core processor is blazing through this light butter the game runs quite smoothly and of course but overall there's nothing that this device cannot handle and of course there's always a workaround for the small issues overall I got an entire day of battery usage with about um, almost five hours screen on time with um, constant use messing around with the phone so 
this is just to give you an overall feel of this new device from Samsung. So if you enjoy this review guys, please go ahead and give us me a thumbs up. This is Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye.